Hey guys, it's CJ here, back with another video. But today we're, I'm going to be making something in Blender. Now, if you guys don't know, Blender is... It's really a 3D source thing and it's free. A lot of people use it to make games and everything. But I'm going to be showing you how to make a glass bowl in it today. Now, you want to make sure you have Blender Render and Cycle Render. Now... Well, I am, I'm doing render, render, Blender 2.77, and if you don't have that, then you probably should, because it's the newest version. And I also have something important to tell you, and I'll just be doing simple things in here, and I'll be showing you how to do it. Now, you want to go to View Orthographic, then View Front. And the reason why I'm clicking is because I'm not going to be using the number pad because some people don't have a number pad, but you do have should have a mouse for Blender. So we want to zoom in and then select edit mode and wireframe mode. Then you want to select A until everything's gray. You might have to press it a few times if you're already in a different mode. Then select B and highlight as top as you want the rim to, of the bowl to be. Now I'm going to do a really um, small bowl, so I'm going to click select that. Then select delete and press vertices. Now, if you go back up here, you can see it has no thickness. The bowl has no thickness. So, um, first of all, I'm going to smooth it out. Go to tools and set smooth out because when you render the bowl with all the jagged edges, some sides look really cool, but the part that the camera sees is just going to be gray and then it's going to see the weird edges on the side. So, in order to make it thick, you need a solidify modifier. So, you want to select the modifier and solidify, and then make the thickness something like. Now, I want to keep in mind don't just put like one because that's going to be way too thick. I'm going to put 0 0.08. I usually do somewhere around there and apply. Now, that's the good thickness there. Now, you want. Now you want to switch to cycles render and here now new now you want to go to material new and you want to make sure that you have surface on there I mean cycles render and then wrong one then select the surface as glass BSDF now you can't see it right here but I'm gonna raise this up a little higher. Oh, and if you didn't know and you're wondering how I'm doing this, you have to right click on the mouse, obviously. Now, switch it to rendered mode, and then you can see what I'm talking about with the bowl. Now it looks glass, and to offset it, you could just put lights and then put um, a flat plate around it. And in order to make a flat plate of glass, you could just do the same exact thing. Just add a, make it thicker, and then put the same material in the cycles render. Now, see what I'm talking about? If it's flat, then you can see around the size it has that cool, not really bevel, but like semi-beveled squares. And But there's this giant gray part right here, so smooth it out. And then you, after you have every all your elements in there, you can just go to your photo settings. And, if you're in, and you don't want to save it as a PNG if you're in... Windows, you want to save it to, um, I believe it's JPEG or JPEG 2000, I believe, and that's pretty much all you need to do. That's pretty much all you need to do, guys. So, if you need any more help, just ask me in the comments, and I should help you. Well, and the thing that I re that's really important I wanted to talk to you about is my intro problem. Now, I have two di separate intros on my phone, but I can only access that from my phone, and I have my new intro that I made on Blender two days ago. Now, if I use the one that I made on Blender two days ago, then it's kind of useless because it's in a certain file that I can't compress and send to my phone because I'm running Windows 7. So, I need to not be running, running Windows 7, but I'm not going to update it because there's something wrong with my computer, okay? So, if you have any ideas, just tell me in the comments. But if not, don't forget to like, subscribe, and always share this video to your friends. And these likes really help me. I know this is kind of far-fetched, but the more likes, the more YouTube will start using your videos and they're related. And the farther I could get, guys. So...
without further ado click away <laughs> i mean like click away on the likes not that you, you know what bye i'm like 